Do, 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 do. Okay, guys, what's going on? I have no idea how this looks, but I just moved into a new place and I literally don't even have a light in my room right now. So I got this little guy. <laughs> if you ever see these things. Oh, they're not exposing. I got to get a new camera. But regardless, I just figured go live a little bit. I'm wearing, hold on one second. I'm wearing my money lay from Hawaii. It's $50 in singles on this lay. I figure I need all the money I can with this Mavic 3 Cine thing popping soon. So let me know. I got to try to find out. Again, I'm using Ecamm Live again. I'm going to try to find out where. I haven't used this in a while, so I got to see where the people are. Interview, no. Or is it comments maybe? Let me see. Let me know if you guys can see this, if the sound is all right. If I, I don't know, I know the lighting blows. But let me know if it looks at least decent enough to talk a little bit about this. We have essentially, it's 10 o'clock Eastern time, so we have another hour and 20 minutes Central time. And we shall see what this is all about. I did a little video talking about ProRes and the Autel and what I think the Mavic 3 impressions are for me after watching Captain Drone talk about it, supposedly from someone who gave a leak. What's up, Simon? I got my cat over here. He's kind of nervous because we just moved into a place. Let me see. How do I hide that? Anyway, I'm trying to see where the comments are. I don't even know where they are on this, so bear with me. Let me try to find window, interview chat, no. There should be an area for comments. I can't even see if there's anyone watching. It says it's live. Three people are watching. Oh, don't want to do that. Let me try one second. I can't see the comments. Comment some, say something in the comments if you can, so I can try to see if they pop up. I am totally newbie streamer. Do 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 do. Yeah, my friend on Oahu makes these. He's an uncle friend, but these are all little dollar bills. So each lay is $50. Pretty cool. I figured I'd rock it because it is going to be an expensive evening. <laughs> so, okay, sound effects. Where are you, Ecamm comments? So this is that. No, interview, we don't need. Do, 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 do. Looks like this is comments. Let me see what this is. Effects. Okay, there you go. What's going on, Larry? What's going on, Johnny? Aloha. No, is it on the fly? I mean, I didn't even look at my fly app. I've been actually installing dimmers in this new place where I moved in, <laughs> trying not to electrocute myself. And just running nonstop with all kinds of errands. So, oh, there it is. Wow, that's cool. Nice, good call. Right on, Larry. Here we go. Let's see. Fly app update. There we go. Ready to go. So I'll update that. Thank you, Larry, for being on it. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm hoping the pricing isn't as scary as people are saying. I don't really want to spend $5,000 tonight if I don't have to. I mean, again, I don't know. Can you see my screen? I mean, this was the Autel Evo 2 Pro Enterprise. And actually, I didn't want to get it with the smart controller because I'm not a big fan of the smart controller. And it got it down to like $3,000. So for me... $3,000 would be way nicer to spend tonight than 5000 
because I'm not made of money. I just moved. Again, basically, I got a job that would pay for this and then some. So if I didn't have this job that just came through for some drone work, I wouldn't even be contemplating buying the Cine since I just recently got an Inspire 2. So, right, Simon? My cat says, what's up, everyone? So it actually, right on. Well, let me see if the Fly app is updated. It is updated. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I talked to Advexture today about the Autel Enterprise stuff. Right on. Thanks, Johnny. And they were saying they had Mavic 3s already in stock in their warehouse, and I tried to pick their brain a little bit, seeing if they would <laughs> give me any kind of insight. But they said they don't even think the Cinnies are going to ship soon. So they were making it sound like they didn't have Cinnies in their warehouse. They had the other ones. So who knows? I mean, I don't know when the Min I mean, the Mavic 3 Cine actually is going to be out. Maybe they'll announce it today and it won't be available for another month or something. So if that's the case, I don't know. I feel like I kind of want to buy this Autel. I mean, look how cool this is. I don't know. I guess I want to back up Autel because I'm really, really stoked with what I'm getting with it. And it just seems to work extremely well for my jobs and my workflow. And I talked to those guys. What did Invexter say? Hold on a second. Uh, so they basically said right here, if I got the package without the smart controller, it'd be $2,800. So $2,800 is not that bad. That's actually pretty palatable. Do I look totally crappy? <laughs> this light... I have is not really ideal, I know. I need to get some lighting. My actual friend who's a metal artist, he's gonna sculpt a really beautiful background and do some kind of neon lighting and light it for me and do my channel name. So I'm kind of excited to get actually a proper YouTube backdrop up and running sooner than later. So anywho, but yeah, I mean, if we could spend 3000, I don't know, what are you gonna do? Are you buying this Larry or Johnny? Is anyone going to buy the Mavic 3? And if you are, which one? Which one are you going to go for? Are you going big? Do, do, do. I don't know how you can do this. Let me see. Yeah, I mean, I honestly, until we know exactly what's happening and what the packages are, I mean, obviously, the Cine supposedly has ProRes, and a smart controller. I honestly don't care about the smart controller. That's not a big deal to me. I mean, if you get it, oh, then so be it. But at the same time, I don't even really want the smart controller. But maybe what you can do is actually get it with the Cine and then sell the smart controller to someone else and just use a regular Mini 2 or whatever Mavic Air 2S or Mavic Air controller. And a ton of DJI. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have the Inspire 2, as I said. I got a Mavic Mini 2. I got the Mavic Zoom. I had the 2 Pro I sold, thankfully. Um, I have the Autel Nano Plus on order. So that's not in yet either. That's going to be a cool drone. I'm excited about that. Honestly, I don't know why. I know my friend <laughs> kind of gave me a hard time because it was as if I'm like, you know, kissing Autel's ass. He's like, their nuts must be kind of salty. But I don't know. I mean, it's not that. I really have just been into the Autel experience. I had no idea. That's what's funny. People kind of get on you for me, you know, talking about Autel so much, but I had no idea, you know, not even a year ago about Autel. So I had no clue. I just dove in and wanted a different experience other than DJI. I had no input from anyone opted to go with the Evo 2 Pro 6K and kind of was slow going. I wasn't really in love with it. I thought it was a nice drone, but the more I flew it, the more I've just been blown away with the quality and the way it flies and just the support that I've been getting. It's just been really a lot better than DJI. Every time I've held, <clears throat> every time I've had issues with my DJI stuff, it's just been really painful. So no, I had the DJI FPV. It was kind of, it was fun. But I returned it, and then actually Pilot Institute had a contest, and I won another FPV. So I won 
FPV after I sold and re or I returned mine. And I ended up just selling the FPV that I won and put it towards the Inspire purchase. It's a cool drone. It really is fun to fly, but honestly, it's not my, it's just not my deal. I feel like it was taking away from me trying to improve on flying cinematically. My money comes from me getting hired to do pretty stuff. So pretty movements and complex movements and nicer flying. So the FPV thing, I'm sure it's, it's cool, but at the same time, it just seems like it kind of gets in the way of me improving with my other slower, smooth flying stuff cinematically. So uh, da -da -da -da, still rocking my mini one, been investing in the non-aerial photo gear. Yeah. I mean, I actually sold my Nikon D850 and kind of used that money towards the Inspire 2. Honestly, the Inspire 2 is an amazing drone and I love it. I got a job that I need to fly it on Sunday with, but if this thing keeps on becoming problematic, I probably will just get rid of it. I mean, it's been kind of a pain in the ass, honestly, from the get-go. It's an awesome drone. I mean, I don't think there's a cooler drone out there for cinematic flying. I mean, the thing, you know, lowers in the landing gear and it's just it's a badass drone, but it's just a lot to lug around. And obviously that's why the Mavic 3 Cine is going to be appealing to a lot of people because I know people that have Inspires who've sold theirs in anticipation of getting the Cine. So they don't want to lug around a lot and they want to still have a micro four thirds. I mean, the X5S is a micro four thirds sensor. So we'll see. I don't know what that other lens is going to be. I mean, a seven times zoom, like Captain Drone was saying, that's a half inch sensor that doesn't allow manual controls. Although he said manual controls may be available in a later firmware update. But I don't know. I guess we got to see some footage and see what it's all about because I, I still kind of, I don't know. I thought there was going to be, honestly, in my dream world, when I saw the Mavic 2 Pro and the Mavic 2 Zoom, I was just under the impression an ideal drone would have been the combine, you know, combining the two. So, I mean, having a Mavic 2 Pro with the Zoom optical kind of capability in one drone. And I thought that's what the Mavic 3 was gonna be. And now we're finding out it's not that. Do you have the Skydio 2? Yeah, that seems like a cool drone. What do you use it for? A lot of people use it for roof inspections. I'm just kind of hanging out. There's only a few people in here, I think. I need to get more people engaging. Yeah, you start collecting stuff and it becomes a little too much. Like my Mavic 2 Zoom, I never even use. I mean, it's a good drone, but realistically, honestly, I grab my Autel every time. I really have zero inclination to fly my Mavic 2 Zoom. I mean, I'd rather fly my Mini 2 just because it's fun and I like being able to like not care that it's only a $500 drone, basically. You don't have to worry about crashing i kind of you know don't even mind crashing that thing because it's such a minor issue <laughs> the inspire 2 thankfully i haven't crashed i actually was in wisconsin and i was about to take off and someone was talking to me they were really talking my ear off when i was getting the drone ready and one of the props wasn't apparently on the correct way and when i started the drone the, <laughs> the prop flew off Thankfully, nothing happened, but still, that's what happens. A lot of times people get really distracting because they're talking to you. You really have to concentrate when you're getting these things prepped. Now, that's cool. How does it work? It supposedly works really well, right? What software do you use to run that? Simon. So the audio sounds all right. I really wish I didn't have to have the mic in my face like this, but I don't know what other way around. I guess I can figure something out. But as long as it sounds good, that's the key. But I mean, let me see. Let's go over here. Let's see, learn more. What do they even say? So it's going to be a live event. What's actually going to be happening, do you think? 
Mavic 2, Mini 2, Air 2. I'm surprised the Air 2 is still available. The SE, Mavic 2 Pro. I'm surprised the Mavic 2 Pro is even available. You can't even, I don't believe, the Zoom is out of stock, I think. Out of stock. So I'm curious to see if these things are going to be like collectible <laughs> items one day. I don't know. So pretty soon we're going to have a Mavic 3 on their home page. And it will be right over here. And it's going to be their probably flagship drone or flagship Mavic for sure. Software for the inspections. Because I know Skydio 2, some company, I forgot what it was, they contacted me and they wanted to, they were going to like do roof inspections for them and they charge, it's like they pay you $70 an inspection. It just totally isn't worth it. Let me see, what does this do? Zoom and pan? Is that better or is that better? Is one different? Does that look better? Or does that look better? Kind of like an eye exam. Before, after. That looks better to me. So we can see, you no know, green screen. I'm just. Is that what it is? Drone deploy? Yeah, yeah. So what time is it? 7.55, so we have almost an hour. Larry, are you going to buy a Mavic 3 then? How do you get more people to chime into your stream? I don't even know what the whole trick is to that. Simon, what do you say? Huh? My kitty is hanging out with me. Let me check one thing. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. As I said, I think we're going to really have to see what the announcement's going to involve regarding the three. You going to buy the Cine? There we go. Yeah, I got to try to figure out this streaming thing more and kind of figure out something to get more people engaged. I guess that will come with time, huh? When I go from almost 2,000 to almost 200,000, hopefully one day. <laughs> Definitely takes a lot of energy to get this YouTube thing rolling. Yeah, I don't know what's going to happen with the Inspire either. I don't know if they're going to actually do anything with an Inspire 3. It doesn't really seem like it, honestly. Still a cool drone. Still a really capable drone. But let me see. The combo. Yeah, I mean, I wish we knew what the pricing was going to be. I mean, I have a feeling it's going to be expensive. And I have a feeling it's going to be more than people are expecting. I don't know. I mean, if it becomes over $5,000 with refresh and stuff attached to it, it's going to be a really pricey purchase. And I don't know. I may have to think twice about it. I mean, the only good thing as someone who's working with their drones is, you know, I had a few bigger five to $10,000 jobs recently, and it does give you the incentive to try new gear because you're making money with your gear and it just gives you incentive, like why not keep on pushing it, seeing what the latest and greatest technology offers and then keep on improving. Anyway, to slide your live screen over to the right, comments are covering you up. Oh, comments are covering me up. Do, do, do. Let me see. Is that better? Oh, over to right. 
Let me know if that works. Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff with this ecam. You can do a little ear horn. <laughs> right, Simon? Scared the shit out of my cat right now. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Still the same. I wonder why. Do, do, do. I mean, it doesn't seem like anything's covering me up. Maybe that. I don't know. Let me see. I can't tell if clicking the zoom and pan thing does anything. Whoa. A little too close. Yeah, what was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. Oh, um, someone I just sold my crystal sky to does a lot of mapping work and thermal work. But the thermal work seemed pretty intense. He was saying he uses, I don't know, I think he uses Inspire Ones and Matrices. But it seemed pretty complex. He was explaining to me a bunch, but I kind of got lost when he was really going deeply into it. But the thermal work seems pretty cool, but he said it's it's like super expensive to get into. You know, you're spending like $30,000 to really truly get into it. I think that's why he said he was using the Inspire Ones. But regardless, that's not my world. It'd be cool to do something other than just cinematic flying, something a little bit less creative. But at the same time, that's what people seem to call on me for, for my work. Yeah, I mean, I actually think so far, I am still a DGI Select member. <laughs> so I think I get 30 days to return the drone even if I wanted to. So let me see something. I'm going to log in to my account. Hopefully you guys can't see my password. No, you can't log in. And I think you can see order completed, ProRes activation key. I mean, look at this just for the thing. I mean, it's $500 for the activation key. I got $3.14 DGI credit. So look out, I'm going to order three CINEs with that one. And I think it should show. Does it even show anymore? I should have this. I don't know. I think it should show coupons. My DJI credit, no. Oh, here it is, coupons. So I should get 50% off the um, DJI Care, I think. Must purchase along, yeah, 50, yeah, it's a Care coupon. So if I buy DJI Care with this Mavic 3, I'll get 50% off. And this was because of the DJI Select thing. So that's cool. Yeah, I can't tell. Hopefully you guys can see me. Or maybe you better not. I don't know. Let me see something. See, I can't. Sh How do I? Do you want to see the screen or does it not matter? But regardless, yeah, the DJI Select thing isn't even a membership anymore. They discontinue the program, but I was able to renew at the very last second, so I got another year. So if there's a chance to use that 50% off coupon, it's going to be tonight. <laughs> so, oh my goodness, I am so sore. I moved into a new home and basically have been completely nonstop. I moved two days straight and then jumped right into a big drone job, which is entailing nine different sites. And I know the guy who's the engineer who hired me, we agreed on like $7,500 and I'm hoping I can get it a little bit higher because he's really wanting me to do a lot of stuff. So <laughs> he wants nine different little edits and then one major edit. So I didn't budget that into the estimate. I only basically gave him an estimate for one final edit, which would combine all nine sites. But if he wants, we'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully I can, I guess, get a little bit more money out of him. Um, so 
So let me see one more second. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. As I said, I don't know how actually to get more people into these streams. I guess you got to have a bigger channel in order to do so. That will come with time, but thank you for tuning in and saying what's up. It's 8.03. We got a little bit of time. I don't know. What do you think I should do? I don't know if I can hang out here the entire hour because there's not a ton of interaction or if I just go back live later after we actually all lost our money out of our bank accounts <laughs> and see see what we feel. I mean, that's kind of cool. Let me see one second. Do, 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 do. So I can actually, I'm gonna post that little thing. Thank you, Larry, on my little, Facebook posts. So DJI, DJI, so DJI Innovations. You'd think they'd have more than 1.2 million subscribers if that's their account. DJI. Mavic 3. So, oop. yeah, moving is not easy. It's been a big pain in the butt. I just got on a cool note. I'm really sore, which is why I'm fidgety. But I got fiber optic installed and I got a gigabyte. I've been getting 950 to a gig upload and the same download. So to have 950 megabytes per second upload is pretty insane. Here, let me see. Here, I'll do it. If you guys can see the screen, I'm going to do a speed test. So watch this. Let's see what we're booking at. 920, 30. And mind you, I'm streaming right now. So 940, that's the download. Let's see what the upload is. This is the mind blower. Snap. Comcast Xfinity is like 35 megabytes per second if you're lucky. I'm running 942, 943, 944. Smoking. So anyway, kind of cool. <laughs> that was that was a big deal today. Getting, do you think there's a ton of the new threes hung up on those boats in LA? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I think everything is not easy to come by, it seems, nowadays. Everything seems like it's in demand, short supply, really expensive. Kind of sucks. It's almost scary a bit. That's why I'm almost hesitant to even, like, I'm happy I have my Autel just because I like that drone. And those things are even kind of hard to come by. I'm happy I got mine also for, like, $1,300 or $1,200 when they had a sale. So I'm hoping that there's some nice sales from Autel and some other manufacturers. I'm not sure. I bet you the combo is going to be, so is the combo right below the Cine? I bet you the combo is going to be, God, I want to say it's going to be around $2,700. I don't know. That seems like a fair number. I bet you it's going to be like $2,000 for the regular one right around there, maybe 17 to 21, and then maybe 27 to 3 for the combo, and probably like $4,300, 4500 for the Cine. I mean, you have to understand the Cine is going to have Obviously, the filters, the ND filters, which is not that big of a deal. You got the smart controller, which can easily be $700 to $1,000. You have the ProRes, which essentially is going to be, I don't even know how they're breaking that down, but you got the high-speed data transfer cable that's going to come with it. You have the more storage on the Cine. 
Yeah, I'm not sure, Yoni, to be honest with you. I think we're going to just have to wait another – it's 808 Hawaii's area code right now, another 52 minutes. I got the coupons from DJI Select, so it was a stupid $50 membership, but you know what? This coupon right here is awesome, and I can use this for the Mavic 3 batteries too. So these little 20% off coupons actually help out a lot. Yeah, I mean, it kind of was – a good program in a way it was kind of annoying but at the same time just the little dgi care watch i guarantee knowing how dgi is <laughs> i'm not certain um, but this is how they've been a lot of times like this coupon watch i bet you it won't work with the mavic 3 for some reason like it's too new of a drone or something i don't know we'll see but that's the kind of crap that seems to always happen with dgi with me at least it always feels that way I got like all these coupons and I feel like I never could use them because nothing's ever supported. But yeah, they discontinued the DJI Select program. Hey, Simon, come here. Oh, good boy. Simon is not too, my kitty. He's been pretty stressed out with this move. Oh, I wish I was in Hawaii right now with this lay. I do have a DJI shirt on. Let me see. I don't even know where I got it. I think I got it on online. It doesn't even really fit anymore, and I stained it when I was cooking. There was olive oil all over it like a true Italian. So I don't know. What do you think is going to happen with this live event? What's going to be live? Are they going to actually have someone like an Apple event? <laughs> um, a little clapping. I don't know. We'll see. I don't even know. Have I ever seen a DJI live event? Have they had that before? Maybe. I'm sure they have. I just don't remember it. So sound effects. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out a little bit. I might as well play with this movie. Sound effects, system audio, do, 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 do. overlays. Let me see. No, I don't know. I'm not going to get in all this. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out this eCam streaming software as well while I'm doing this since there aren't a ton of people here. Figure it's a good time. It seems like there's a lot to it i didn't get the pro let's see scenes what does scenes do um camera effects no that's kind of nothing as long as the audio sounds good that is honestly the main thing and the video i mean the audio i mean the video the um the picture should be good because i got killer freaking reception so that's a good thing i don't think many people have <clears throat> a true 900 megabytes per second some do i never have until today so i'm stoked uh what else audio levels for this guy i can see ecam copy youtube you don't know Yeah, feel free to say something. I think DJI is shooting themselves in the leg. At least half of their clients will not buy the Mavic 3 because of the... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think more people will buy it than many will imagine. I think you have to understand, though, too, this Mavic 3 has been just forever, you know, being talked about. So people have been wanting a Mavic 3 for so long that I think people will probably reach into their pockets and sell off their Mavics. I'm sure there are going to be a lot of Mavic 2 Pros for sale really soon. So that's why I'm glad I sold mine when I did because I knew this was going to happen eventually. And I honestly never really loved my Mavic 2 Pro. I mean, I'm not hating on it. I just didn't love the drone. I bought it and I personally hated the way it flew. I felt like it flew too fast, honestly. That's why I think I like the Autel too. It flies a little bit slower 
almost, I don't know, I just like flying slower than faster all the time. Like the Inspire 2 is really hard to fly because it's so fast. So a lot of times I'll just throw it in the tripod mode and really slow it down. But I've kind of figured out the Autel with the Evo 2 Pro on how to rock it with precision mode and some other modes. I mean, if you put it in the precision mode and you turn off obstacle avoidance and you just know how to dial in the precision mode settings, you can really fly cinematically great because you can just control your rotation speed and your vertical and horizontal speeds. So there's a lot of nice fine tuning things. And I don't know. I mean, as I said, if I see, let me try to look. Let me know if you guys can see this. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I think a lot of people are hesitant to buy an Evo 2 Pro. Yeah, my Autel Evo 2 Pro 6K is my favorite drone, hands down. I mean, that's just me, and I don't work with Autel. <laughs> I kind of wish I did, because I really do like the company. I'm pretty stoked on them. Um, but I think a lot of people are hesitant. I don't think people understand, like when I talk about Autel, it's not because I'm hating on DJI. I've been, you know, into DJI from the beginning. That's what got me into drones. But at the same time, I don't know. I just think people don't know until they try it how really good it does. And I think the Evo 2 Pro 6K does a really good job. And it surprised me just like anyone. I just don't think enough people have tried the drone to understand what I'm talking about. I think if more people actually sat with an Evo 2 Pro for maybe three months and flew it a lot and flew in low light and all kinds of crazy conditions and beautiful sunsets, literally you can put the drone in auto exposure mode in normal color space and just get killer footage. It's crazy. Now I haven't had the 8K. I've seen it and I've flown one, but I mean, essentially, obviously it's the same bird. It's just different camera, but I would be curious to see how the 8K is. I'm sure it's good, but I don't know. For some reason, I just don't think I would want to even chance it because the 6K just does such a great job. Yeah, I mean, the Evo 3 is going to be awesome when it eventually pops. Uh, what was I going to try to show you guys? Where are you? Too many drives. I think... Oh, here, John Engineering job. So let me date this because 2021, what is it, 11.03? This was shot yesterday, some of it. Let me try to see some of my footage. Let me see. Oh, this is fall colors. What blows up my MacBook? What does? I mean, like, look at this. This is what the Autel... I think I almost hit a light over here. Watch this. Watch the light over here. I remember this. Oh, he's going to come. I'm almost positive. Where is it? Oh. Wait, it's pausing. Where is that light? Oh, maybe this wasn't the clip. I think it was, though. Oh, maybe it wasn't. But I actually don't even see. Okay, let me see this. It was windy this day. But I mean, that's the Autel straight out of the camera. I didn't even do anything, but look how well it does. It just seems to capture colors really well. Okay, let me see a good clip. Hopefully I got some good stuff. Let me see. No. Okay, so that can be deleted. Try to find a couple clips. Let me see. It's a little slow. No, that's overhead, kind of boring. See, he, he designed and engineered all of this, so... These are all pavers that absorb the water and go into the ground. So it's like an eco-friendly paving system. So that's why some of this stuff is documented for little B-roll footage. But let me see some of this. 
I was trying to fly. I don't know. There, it's hard to go through clips like this. You got to really. There we go. So let's kind of see where I was going with this. But even just this, you can see how well it captures really everything. I mean, the color looks good. There has to be another clip where I was flying. Hold on a second. No, that's crappy. It starts to worry you when you start looking at stuff. And there we go a little bit. But you can see it just does a nice job. And I know with just a little tweaking of saturation and changing, I mean, look at the hawk flying through, or two hawks. but it just looks pretty darn good. I'm in um, the western suburbs of Illinois right now. So there was a road, I gotta not fly over the road. Let me see some stuff. Yeah, the light was going in and out. I'm trying to find something this is actually hard for some reason. I was trying to get just little footage of this guy. It's hard to fly low to the ground. I think the props really mess with you because it causes like little disturbance in the ground. Let me see if I got a little shot. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. So something like that, even just a few seconds is all you need. And you could slow it down a little bit too. Let me see. I think I got frustrated and I sat a lot with the stupid sign. No. Like this was a difficult shot because he designed this whole pathway. Let me see. So I was just kind of cruising along. Again, some of it's just going to be kind of B-roll footage. But he designed this path going along the river. I got to be conscious of not flying over the road. Oh. You got to turn. So my drone's essentially like right over here, not over the road. Oop. I was watching. Yeah. Yeah, this is all from the Evo. I can get you some samples if you want. But look at this shot. That's pretty cool, huh? Oop. What the heck did I do? <laughs> I know. Oh, I think I was returning home. I think I couldn't even. Wait, let me see. There we go. Yeah, the fountains look really cool. I think I, I know I got some better stuff. I'm just skimming through. I got to go through this a little bit more thoroughly. There's the fountains again. Let me see what I did with the fountains. Let me chill over here. So I think I was just kind of cruising. He wanted to make sure I cruise through this whole trail. So he designed the bridge. So these bridges to cross over. Or he engineered them, I should say. He did the crosswalk, all of this stuff. So again, it's tough because there's obviously all kinds of power lines, roads. I'm kind of waiting for traffic. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not going to use all of this. So say something like, let me see. Oop. So, I mean, I may just use like this kind of thing, like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. I think I went up above this too. But again, the fountains aren't really his deal. But this is, this is the path, I think. So anyway. Yeah, those are all from the Evo 2 Pro 6K. So let me see. I should have spun around a little bit, didn't I? Like, what is this? <laughs> what am I doing? I think I was returning home, actually. See, like I'm, oh, I actually, I think I was, here, I'm not even over the road. I'm actually not. I'm standing right on the sidewalk. That looks crazy, though. 
So just like flying through this low, this was kind of tricky. But again, you're seeing some of the bad with some of the good. I think I kind of followed her a little bit. But again, just some stuff that's kind of simple, just to show people there. Just kind of creep around a little bit. <laughs> but I got a lot of stuff. I mean, you see there's tons of footage. Let me see. Where is something kind of fun? I mean, again, where is it? So this was the last location yesterday. You know, maybe do some kind of little orbit kind of thing, just cruise a little bit. And the thing with this, the 6K, I can zoom into it a little bit and just get tighter on like the frame. Again, the light wasn't even out over there, but we got a killer sunset. So as you can see, sunset really started to kind of get lit up. Like maybe there, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. But I don't even know. I mean, as I said, I got to look at all this. Haven't even started. <laughs> Edit it down later. But, you know, he designed this, for example. So just having a little bit, you know, a few seconds of this in there. I mean, it's all going to be nice when it's all graded and edited and put to music. I mean, some of this was really nice. Let me see. You know, so he designed that, flew through this a little bit. But that's why I'm kind of digging the Evo because it just does a good job. I mean, like, let me see something. Oh, so that's definitely overexposed, but I think I may have... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was taking some still pictures, too. But anyway, guys, I don't know. We have another half hour. I think I may just kind of go for now. I mean, I could stay and I could go. I kind of feel like I need to eat a little bit. But like something like this, let me see. I'm trying to see if I got... So this... In this the sunset was on the Evo there was no filter I didn't use any filter just straight regular no big deal so yeah I mean that's what's crazy with the Evo I'm telling you you almost don't even need to do anything that's why I kind of talk about it for a lot of people because it's really an easy drone to get good footage out of yeah, I feel like you don't even, need, you know, you don't even need filters half the time, it seems. I mean, I have them and I use them, but it almost feels like you don't need to do anything. You just put it in auto mode and it does a really good job. It's kind of like an iPhone, as I said. You know, you just point an iPhone at something and it seems to capture and expose things really well. And I feel like it kind of does the same thing. I mean, let me see some of the, I have, where are you? I mean, like, look at that. It looks so nice. I mean, it may be a little laggy right now, but. You know, I mean, he designed this. I mean, this is really pretty stuff. So. Again, I'm not going to even need a ton of the footage. Let me see. Let me try to find something else. The light went kind of crappy. It was. Where was it? Let me see. See, this was when the light was nice. Do, 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 do. Flying through stuff is fun. <laughs> so just kind of cruise through. The client was right next to me when I was doing this too. So he was kind of watching me fly, which is fun. But at the same time, a little bit distracting. Let me see if I did that one more time. 
a lot of times I'll do a move in reverse after I find it easier to fly reverse controls for some reason. But again, this isn't necessarily needing to be like amazing. It's just documenting his stuff for him and doing it in a little bit more pretty way. I mean, that doesn't have to be epic, but of course you want to get him really nice stuff. Let me see if this was, did I try to fly through here first? Sometimes you mess up. See, this is the thing. Sometimes the gimbal on these things, it's like they're not pointing straight. That's why I always say do that auto calibration before you fly. So you make sure that the gimbal's leveled out and pointing the straight way. And Because it sometimes is really weird when you start to fly straight and the drone's actually not flying straight. It's like the drone's, or the, cam the camera's pointing the, like a little bit to the left or right. What am I doing here? Yeah, I think I, I fumbled on that one. This was the one I flew through. Go full screen. So again, whoop, and I could have had, well, so that was a fumble too. See, so we mess up. Let's see this one. But all you need, if you don't get your shot, you know, try again. So here, I mean, this again would probably be a little nice shot, just kind of cruising through. Do to do, you could speed it up, slow it down. Just start from like right here, one one thousand to one thousand, cruise out of here. Let's see, you know, then maybe cut into something over here, whatever. I mean, but it's a good drone. It does a nice job. And I mean, again, you know, I think this was some of the night footage that I shot. This is Chicago stuff. Let me see. Yeah, let's see some of this. I mean, but look at... Yeah. So this is pretty amazing. Again, low light, Autel Evo 2 Pro, 6K. You know, I mean, if the Mavic 3 can smoke this, I don't know. I don't know how it would smoke it. I mean, I, you know, maybe a little bit better in a different way, but this is pretty darn good. And this is straight out of the camera, you know? Yeah, I think so too, interactive DNA. I mean, it's just, it's pretty mind blowing, honestly. But here, let me see something. Let me try to like check that out. Now, mind you, this is out of the camera. I didn't do anything to it. This is just the raw file. You know? Pretty darn cool. I love these little trains. It's like a, feel like a kid. You know, let's see something else. Now, mind you, look at this. This is basically nighttime right now. And look what it's capturing. So Mavic 3 Cine, you better be pretty darn badass because you're going to have, you know, your work cut out for you if you can do better than this. I mean, I hope you can. I'm not, as I said, I want this drone too. Let me see. Got a really nice shot. I don't know where it is. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, check this shot out. This is pretty nice. I didn't even put this whole thing in its entirety in my edit. Now, mind you, this area is really tricky to fly because you get thrown in the Addy mode. A lot of times you got a ton of winds in between the buildings and your drone gets really... It's disorienting flying through all these buildings. Well, maybe that wasn't the clip. I have a clip that's really nice that, no, maybe this is it. Let me see. No, I don't think this is it either. I don't remember two trains. But look how beautiful that is. I mean, it's so good. Let me see if I continue flying. Yeah, I don't know. I just am pretty impressed with this drone. 
soon hopefully we'll have Mavic 3 clips. I mean, let me see. Yeah, it's a little dark, but let me try this. Yeah, I mean, like, look at that, too. So cool. And again, this is, you know, look at the barely any noise. This is at like probably 6400 ASA, ISO, whatever. And basically I'm shooting 6K to 8-bit. It's in normal color space, not even log. Log looks like shit for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. It has tons of noise. So avoid shooting in log if you're using this drone. But I mean, look at that, look killer. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can fly, you can fly 400 feet above the building. So, I mean, with my 107, I could fly 400 feet above the tallest structure near me within 400 feet radius. <clears throat> so, and you're supposed to have your 107 in the city a lot of people don't. I mean, honestly, this looks kind of like some of my Inspire footage, I feel like. I don't even know if I get, I haven't even gotten better footage of this scene with my Inspire because I'm kind of nervous to fly it. <laughs> you know, I mean, flying the Inspire in this zone is really sketchy because you have freaking so much money at stake. I mean, look at that. That's the Autel. I'm telling you, if I, if, if, DGI shows this type of footage for the Mavic 3 Cine. People would be flipping sh like their nutsacks. I'm telling you, they'd be so blown away. And look at this. I mean, there's like no noise in the sky. It looks killer. I don't know. It just. Yeah, I mean, it's like anything. I mean, look at like Sony's little, you know, mirrorless cameras. It's the same kind of thing. You get an A7S III or an A7R4 or something, got a small little body, you know, who needs a, this is the clip. <coughs> Pardon me. Check this clip out. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think. So waiting. There's the drone. There's the train. I just like how this whole thing, I like slow, long, drawn out clips personally. A lot of people like speed ramping and zoom, zoom, zoom and all kinds of fast stuff. I like really long, drawn out, slow, cinematic kind of stuff. That's just me. That's why I think the FPV thing doesn't really appeal to me so much. But it just keeps on going. I don't know. I think it's just trippy. The buildings are kind of doing this refracting stuff and reflecting. And the train just kind of works its way out of the frame like a little worm or something. But the whole clip just keeps on going for a while. Do, 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 do. There goes the train. Boom. Kind of cool. Do you have your 107, Yanni? Yeah, it's 400 feet where you take off, but if you have your 107, it's 400 feet above the tallest structure. So say there's a big building next to me, I can fly 400 feet from the ground over the building. But the whole thing is you really should have visual line of sight on it. We all kind of probably don't do that all the time. Where are you anyway? because the rules are different in the states than they are in other areas and countries. I mean, I fly 1,500 feet sometimes. <laughs> so, I mean, like that one here, let me see. Oop. What am I doing? Hold on a second. There we go. So say, 
Aspire to Fall, Michigan, no. I mean, like, look at this. This is. So that's probably like 800 feet up. But again, you should be able to see your drone. It's funny how people like all watch the drone. They're like all on this tour and they're like pointing at the drone like, hey, look at the drone. Look at the drone. Look at the kids are looking at the drone, waving at the drone. It's so funny. They're on a tour and they're more interested in the drone. Well, I don't know where you're at. You didn't really say, but you should take that trust test if you're recreational. <clears throat> so it's 839. Do we hang tight? I still don't even know how many people are actually watching. How do you even see how many people are viewing? There should be a way to see that. Let me check over here. Overlays. Do, 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 do. Program, sound effects, sound levels. Yeah, that's good, Yoni. Trust test is a good start. If you do get your 107, go at Pilot Institute. I can give you a link for it too. It helps me, but it also helps you. Boop, 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 boop. But they are really good. Greg's a great guy and they're really knowledgeable. And it just is a really easy way to take the test. They have a huge success rate. And again, Greg's just a super kind guy. So there's that. I could still ask him questions. He's a friend now. And if I was in Arizona, I'd probably be working with them because I know he's a good guy. And actually, we talked about that before. <laughs> so... I just can't possibly be out in Prescott, Arizona, where they're at right at the moment because I'm helping care for my mom who's older with dementia. Yeah, no problem. But get your 107. It's definitely a good investment, man. You know, you could make a bunch of money. I mean, I'm, you know, <clears throat> paying for this cine or whatever I buy with this last job. So <coughs> pardon me. So it's 841. Do you know where your kids are? What's the triangle? Oh, that's kind of nice. What's up, Simon? I think that's kind of kind of zen-like. That's the most zen-like thing they have sound effect-wise. Let me try to see one thing. I'm going to log on the YouTube and see if it shows that I'm streaming. Oh, yeah, it does. Five watching. Okay, that's kind of good. Why does it show the picture of the boat, though? <laughs> okay, so see, that's the thing. <clears throat> so there should be a way for me to choose the thumbnail. Let me try to figure that out. Oh, it should be down here somewhere. Preview mode? No. This? <coughs> no, sorry, pardon me. I don't know why I'm coughing. No, well then enjoy your visit. Where are you from? Is Yoni like Japanese? Where can I choose the thumbnail? There has to be a way to do it. How can I choose a thumbnail? Look. 
come on, there has to be a way. Check for updates, no. Screen sharing, no. Billing, of course, it's always money. So let me see if Where I can actually can I choose. Oop, don't want that. Let me see if I can go to edit video and choose a thumbnail. Maybe I can. I can. There we go. How about I do this? Backup plus. No. Desktop. No. I thought I had a. Th no. Okay. Hold on. This is what I got to do. Bear with me. I'm going to change my thumbnail. So DJI, I'm going to go over here. You guys know how to do this? Go show page resources. And you can go over here into images and steal the images from the site. Not steal them, but just access them. Hmm. Wait, what am I? DJI's homepage. I wonder if it's, I don't know why it's not showing it like it normally does. Usually you can, here, hold on a second. What's going on? Develop, show page, resources, images. There we go. I can grab this guy. Where are you, Mavic 3? I can grab that. I can bring it into Photoshop. And then I can go ahead and. Here, I'm going to. Nope. Hide that for a second. And just do this. There we go. Screenshot it. Okay, hide Photoshop. Bear with me, guys. I just want to put a different thumbnail. And there we have it. Oh, it's too big. Dang it. Crap. Okay, fine. Do you guys use Photoshop? It is kind of fun. It's always been my thing. So we're going to image size. We're going to go pixels. We're going to go 1280 by 720, and then we're gonna go crop, Oop. and then we're gonna C crop, 1280, 720, crop that guy down, boom, shift option command S, save for web, boom, done. Oop, what the heck did it do? Save. So I'll just put Mavic 3 thumb.jpg. Okay, there we go. Now let me change the thumb. Mavic 3. Now it should work. Save and good to go. There we go. Cool. So, anywho. Get out of Photoshop. 847. Yeah, that's awesome. I love Photoshop. I kind of wish they didn't keep on changing it so much, but Photoshop is kind of kind of my jam. Yeah, the Air 2S is a good drone, definitely capable. Yep, I did. Well, I created it as this. Twelve eighty by seven twenty, basically. Yeah, I mean, just be conscious. Fly, you know, check aloft or something, making sure you're not flying in any kind of bad airspace. So that's what I'd be paying attention to, Yoni. You know, whether it's whatever. People don't like air map, but sometimes I log in the both. I use a loft and air map to just kind of see. 
let me close out of this. Close out of that. There's the big hotel from earlier. Ooh. Let me get out of that. I Actually, Autel contacted me today about one of my images, so that was kind of cool. Yeah, new Photoshop is not the same. I used to love old Photoshop. It kind of changed. It got too much. So it's 848. I guess I should hang in there, huh? God, do I pull the trigger with you guys on the phone, though? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Do I spend money? As part of my being alive, I got to check my account first. <laughs> got to check my bank account. Hold on a second. Let me check. Okay, there's enough in there. But, I mean, thankfully I got seven grand going back into the account after this job. So, basically, I know my account's going to stay where it's at, even if I buy this drone. So just to be sure, 400 is from the ground. You shouldn't be flying over 400 feet, Yoni, without your 107. You don't have your 107, don't fly over 400 feet, period. There's your answer. So don't fly over 400 feet. <laughs> be a good boy. <laughs> right, Simon? Be a good boy. Yeah. Come here. Oh, my God. Here, come here, Simon. You can meet the YouTube crowd. Come here. Oh, come here. Come here. Oh. Little Simon. So this is Simon. Little Siamese. What's up, Symes? You're welcome. Okay. Good boy. I really don't like here by my computer, but he's a good kitty. Well, regardless, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, as I said, sometimes it's nice to fly. Like I'm flying a job on Sunday, but I got roof access to a building because we're flying and we got like, you know, everything. We needed to get, you know, make sure we have the $1 million insurance and blah, blah, blah. Yep, he's my kitty cat. He's a good boy. He's a pain in the ass, but he's a good cat. Very needy. Let's see, Simon. <laughs> it's 851. Good boy, Simon, here. I'm going to show you something. Simon? Let me see if I can find something. So this is my kitty. When I rescued him, he was actually from Hawaii. So I found him looking like this. He was in the middle of the road. Actually, this time, four years ago, roughly, right one day before Thanksgiving, I was driving to capture a sunset in Hawaii. And he was in the middle of the road, circling. Basically, he couldn't see because his eyes were swollen shut from this bad eye infection. And basically, that was the beginning of the story. And brought him to the vet, had fleas, treated his eyes, washed him. Then he became this little guy, stole a little kitten. <laughs> then he became that little guy, healthier, beautiful blue eyes. Everyone fell in love with him. Super cute cat, though. <laughs> but a pain in the butt. There he is in Hawaii, too. So, yeah, I'm a cat guy. I like animals, though. Isn't that the, no, I don't know, Cartoon Simon. Is that about like a sheep or no? I don't know. How much is the insurance for Air 2S for one year in the U.S.? It all depends what kind of insurance you get. I mean, I just got with Skywatch for this job. I roughly have a million dollar rider and that will not cover the haul, meaning it won't cover the drone. So it's mainly liability. 
You want to make sure you have one to two million dollars liability when you're flying something like this. A lot of times they'll tell you what you need. But Skywatch, if you guys haven't used it, is a really good place to go. Yeah, I've got to check it out. Where is it on? Simon. What? What's up, meow? How do you like me, meow? You gonna buy a Mavic 3? Mavic 3 meow? Good boy. He no here, hold on, I gotta turn on his little toy. Good boy. Okay. All right, I'll check. Simon's cat. Should I look for it now? Here, let me see. Simon's cat. Oh no. Oh, maybe I have seen this. Scott, build birdhouses, build a website. Bluehost me. <laughs> I miss my uh -huh. Mavic 3 because I'm watching Simon's cat. <laughs> Flamingo legs? Yeah, I know. I mean, here, I'm going to watch this later. Yeah, I mean, check this out. I mean, honestly, look at that, though. I mean, look at these legs. Sexy carbon fiber legs. Like, I mean, look how nice that is. For real like i really should just go and buy this thing right now spend three grand and call it a day and just be stoked i mean look you get a nice freaking carrying case i don't know what you'd use the intercom for that'd be kind of fun fly over and like yell at people <laughs> that would be probably a good like comedy thing you could probably do practical jokes <clears throat> i always wanted someone to do something with that but they never have like, did you ever see that guy Ross Creations? He's pretty hilarious, but <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, I don't really care about the smart controller. This thing's nice. It's a beautiful display, but to me, I don't give a shit about it personally. Sorry, pardon my language. But yeah, these legs are super sexy. The Mavic 3, not so much. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, we're going to see not even four minutes away from Mavic 3 release. Woo ah! Let's see. What else do we have? Party noise? <laughs> oh, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so there it is. So that would be over me, right? No? I don't know. Which is weird. Wait, hold on a second. Set desktop picture. There we go. The Inspire is better. Yeah, I mean, the Inspire is weird. It's like it's a weird drone to want to fly. The only thing is it has different focal lengths, like the 45 mil and the 25 mil on that drone is super badass. It's hard to fly with the 45 because it's like a 90 mil equivalent, or yeah, like a 90 millimeter equivalent. So like if you're trying to orbit something or whatever, it's everything's magnified, obviously magnified. So we have the live event. So Simon's cat, you're gonna go away for a second. And let's go over here. And should I go full screen? Get 
right on the page resources. Should we refresh? Let me refresh page. Ten. It is. It's at nine p.m. Right. It's in like less than two minutes. Oh crap. <clears throat> I gotta transfer money out of one account to another if I do this. Simon, you excited? So it says learn more. Oh, okay. hey. Premieres in 60 seconds, baby. I wonder how many people are watching this. So while this is happening, let me see. Got 45 seconds. I kind of don't want to buy in anything, honestly, because I just feel like you always just pull the trigger because the only good thing is I can have 30 days to return my stuff because I got this DGI Select membership. So essentially, if I buy it, I don't want it, I can return it as long as I don't crash it. So there is that peace of mind, knowing that is an option. I think everyone else has two weeks to return it if you did change your mind, but who wants to go and do through all, you know, go through all that? Holy crap, five seconds. Boom, we're live, baby. <whistles> oh, no, we're not. Come on. You're late. Here we go. So let's see what's happening. I'm going to go to the store really quickly. gentlemen, DJI fans, pilots, photographers, filmmakers, hello image creators. We've all been waiting a long time for this moment, but I know, you know, patience always pays. It's a big part of our work, waiting for the odds, the weather, the right perspective, the right time. A special moment. Well, here we are. I'm Ferdinand Wolf, drone pilot and part of DJI's development team. But especially, I am an image creator. Over all my years with DJI, I've met so many other creators, tech friends and fans. 
I can truly imagine how excited you are right now. I am as well. And I'm also extra proud to represent this moment on behalf of my colleagues all over the world, because it marks a very special milestone for the whole DJI family. So please allow me to do something we rarely do and share a word or two about our company. DJI was born from a simple dream, allowing you to effortlessly control an aircraft and create impressive images on the fly. And for 15 years now, we do exactly that, enabling image creators to capture easily what could only be imagined before. I don't know. But while we're widely known as the drone company, only a few know what the letters DJ and I stand for. That's Dajang Innovation, short DJI. Innovations paired with Dajang, inspired by an old Chinese idiom, means to us, big dreams have no barriers. I didn't know this is what drives us, was. the reason why we won't and why we don't just imagine. The reason why, as soon as we master one thing, we'll use that experience somewhere else. So we've already put our gimbal technology from aerial heights into the hands of pro filmmakers. Shout out to my friends in Hollywood. We give weekend action heroes the tools to become true image creators. We enable farmers, firefighters, builders, scientists, and many more to make the world a safer, smarter, and more promising place from above. Moreover, we've expanded far beyond where we began making advancements in various fields such as autonomous driving, educational oh, robotics, physics, and, and AI. We simply love searching for solutions that let you discover the space around us in an intelligent way. Products that feel like they're coming from the future, but help to improve the world today. Big dreams, I know. But we really don't like barriers. Not for us, not for anyone else. So we just keep making the most complex technology accessible and easy to use for everybody, every day. And today, this thought brings us back here, back to our original dream, helping everyone so to see the world in a smoother and better new way from above. A dream about beautiful technology that in return creates beauty, undiscovered beauty, new masterpieces. This is always our goal. No matter how the world acclaimed our earlier products, we wanted to surpass them. And when it comes to our flagship drone, surpassing what we've already done before required us to work harder than ever. Just a better drone wouldn't be enough this time. We had to put imaging above everything. Enough teasing, let's take off. Introducing DJI's new masterpiece, Legs. To all the image creators around the world, Flamingo this legs. one is for you. Please welcome our latest flagship, our Pride. The drone that is here to change the way we shoot, the way we see, the way we fly. Again, Mavic 3. Mavic Pro was a foldable revolution in 2016. Fitting in a small bag, but shooting big images on the go. I remember flying an early prototype. What a game changer. Mavic 2 Pro followed in 2018 as a glimpse into the future of professional imaging with a one inch what do you sensor. Guys think? It was our first Hasselblad corporation as well. Each Mavic Pro has been the ultimate choice of its time. This is true for Mavic 3 as well, but on a whole new level. It looks this cool, new Mavic belongs in the Looks toolbox of every true like image creator. And here are three bold reasons why. One, the dual camera system. An incredible Hasselblad camera with a stunning four-thirds CMOS sensor. Plus, a second camera with a half-inch sensor and a telescopic lens for exploring distant spots and new creative techniques. Endless possibilities and badass image quality. More about that later. Half inch sensor. Two, A-Pass 
comes with an omnidirectional obstacle sensing system, autonomously sensing obstacles in all directions, like a careful assistant that protects your footage. Three, Mavic 3 stays in the air for up to 46 minutes, giving you a crazy 50% upgrade to Mavic 2. More fly time to get the next perfect shot. We could have called it Patience Plus. Mavic 3 is here, ready to start a new era. The shift from a supreme drone with a great camera to a supreme camera that flies perfectly. And I can't wait to show you this camera in action. So let's go, follow me outside for a sneak peek at the peak. Okay, let's see what this thing's about. There's the new smart control. The camera quality is absolutely outstanding. You get stunning images in almost any conditions. So there's no need to go to scenic places for epic shots. But if you can, the best of course you go. Quite impressive, right? Well, when we say we put imaging above everything, we mean the best image quality you can get from an aircraft that fits in a small bag. We mean a truly professional camera system that you can use to capture any perspective. Well, guys, we mean I don't know. an intuitive and safer user experience to fully this. focus on imaging. Tune out for now. That's Mavic 3, finally here to change to aerial imaging once again. But to achieve that, we had to change more or less everything. At first, the obvious. We know that the to select the best shots, be you need enough shots to select from. And to month. make as many attempts as possible, you simply need time. To get significantly more time in the air, we had to refine the entire structure of Mavic 3. First, we took inspiration from nature and aerial science to help us make propellers and motors more efficient. Then, we redesigned the gimbal, the arms, and the main body to improve how Mavic 3 moves through the air. The result? A drag coefficient 35% lower than the last generation. That's why Mavic 3 looks sharper and more agile. It's not just the darker color, it was an enormous effort to redesign every millimeter of Mavic 3 to move more smoothly. And that's just what you can see from the outside. Right, guys. On the inside, right it's now, also strong, attention. way strong. By balancing weight, volume, and power consumption, we got more room for the battery, leading up to 30 kilometers flight distance per charge, and a flight time of 46 minutes. That's 15 more minutes to explore, prepare, and shoot.